Let's go over the three cone L drill now. This is not something that everybody just does all the time in training. So I'm gonna give you some tips that are gonna really help you maximize your performance on this and really drop time. So just to make sure you understand what the L drill is, it's, it's a line five yards up, you come five yards back, then you're gonna come back, loop around this cone you're gonna come all the way around another cone five yards away from that one, and then you're looping all the way back home to where you started at the beginning. A couple of rules that you have to consider is the touches with your hands are gonna be right hand, right hand. So both of the touches are with your right hand. Sometimes people will touch with the wrong hand and they're not gonna count it. Now, if you are at an NFL Pro Day, you're also not gonna be able to put your inside hand down when you're touching. So when you go to touch, this inside hand, the other hand, cannot touch. If you're at a high school or uh, maybe a, a showcase type of event, there might be somebody there that doesn't really care, so you may be able to get away with it. But if you're getting ready for an NFL Pro Day or Combine, you're not gonna put your inside hand down. So depending on what you're gonna do, you can practice it either way. So let's get set up first. So first of all, you're gonna set up for the L drill just like a 40 yard dash. So one foot in front of the other, and I've got other videos that explain that, so we're not gonna go into too much detail. But on this one, you're gonna have your right foot in front and your left hand down. A lot of you probably are used to going the other way. In this case, you're gonna have your right foot up and your left hand down, and I'll explain why in one second. So you're gonna put your hand down on the line. You get to go whenever you're ready, and they start the timer. It's gonna take you one, two, three steps. On the fourth, you're gonna to touch with your right hand. On the way back, it's only gonna be two steps and then a touch. One, two, touch. And then you're gonna get out. So here's what it kind of looks like a little bit faster. You're here, one, two, three, touch. One, two, touch and then you're gonna shoot out and finish the rest of it. All right, so let's think about a couple things to make sure that you are maximizing how quickly you can go on this. So that very first touch after you come out of here, so you do the one, two, on your third step, you're gonna turn this foot to the side a little bit because that's gonna be your brakes. So that third step is on your heel, a little bit of braking, and then when you go to touch, you don't want your whole body at the line. You're gonna, you're gonna lean away from it and reach your hand out. So I'm gonna go, kind of go through that last two steps. The last two steps are step, step, touch it. See how my feet are kind of parallel or almost facing the other way. I reach out past it and then you're going back the other direction. To get there, you gotta do it in the one, two, and touch. They're kind of big steps. I'll do it for you again. One, two, touch. And it's the same kind of touch that I just showed you over there. And then you're gonna be getting out. Now, don't worry about where you are on the first five. So you go up and you touch. On your second five, when you come back, I want you to kind of move away from the inside cone just a little bit. So you're kind of out this way. Your first step out is gonna be kind of a crossover and then a step, you're gonna then almost be ready to come right around this cone. And what that's gonna end up looking like a little faster is you just touch here, cross over, and then you're ready to almost go straight ahead. I don't want you to break it down here like a receiver and then make a real sharp cut. That's gonna slow you way down. So you really wanna get your momentum going and keep it going in a circular pattern around this first, uh, this first turn. So I'm gonna take you through, I'm gonna go through it again, five, back five, and back through here, uh, just a little bit faster. All right, so you've gotten the first five back and rounding around the first cone. Now, this next cone is where a lot of people get messed up 
and there's a couple ways you can do it. As you come into it, you're gonna to wanna to start leaning slightly away from it. And what I, uh, what I like to have some people do is they plant their foot out past the cone and then they push off kind of up away. So that would look kind of like this. You would, you would come in, you would plant, and then you would push off. That's sometimes hard for people. The other way to do it is you're gonna come up, step past it, you're gonna take a little bit of a step and then you're gonna start pushing off. So it's gonna be more of like, like chopping your steps. So you're gonna come in, you're gonna chop your steps and then you're gonna push off. You're gonna have to practice both ways. One is more of a big step and a push off. The other is more coming in, chopping your steps and pushing off. You have to practice that. But the key to either one of those is after you, uh, after you do your, your plant, you're not going straight back towards that cone. You're kind of coming uphill a little bit so that you can round it off all the way home. And you really want to be running and bending so you can kind of dive into it, almost like a race car coming around a corner and bend it all the way back home. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time, not super fast, and then you're gonna get to see some other people do it as well. So you get set up, one, two, three, touch, one, two, touch, crossover, all the way here. And that is gonna make for an awesome L drill Feel free to watch this a few more times, walk through it as you're doing it, and watch some of the examples.